10 time slot here from the Keystone State Camps being hosted at the outstanding Susquehanna University. We have in the green the Cleveland Cavaliers and in the gold we have the Knicks of New York City as we get off underway here with the Knicks taking the first possession underway and as I have introduced the Wow. Knicks already. I am just going to give you everybody in the Cavs roster to make things easy. We have number 17, Ethan Miller out of Tamaqua. We have Baron Staffenberg, Ethan's teammate from Tamaqua. We have Isaiah, I'm not going to try and butcher his last name. Out of all respect, he's from Canton. And then we have Toby Berg, another Tamaqua resident. And then we have Nate Giuseppe from Mifflinburg, Gabriel Coleman from Tamaqua, Brady Sherry from Tamaqua, and Ronan Serrano from Bloomsburg. Nice spin move there. Good rebound. Here's your guy. You liked him last game. This is my guy right there. I believe that is Mc that is for yes. the Knicks. That is number two. That is McGinley. As he spots up from three. Great rebound there by the Cavaliers, number five. That is Brady Sherry out of Tamaqua. And great drive there by number 13 for the Knicks. That is Ryan Russo out of Central Dolphin, hailing from the mid-pen area of Pennsylvania, home to our state oh, capital. As we wow. have a great steal by the Knicks, number 13. That is wow. Ryan Russo. A few, hey, what grades he in? Because a few years from now, a couple years from now, he's dunking that. Ryan Russo. Oh boy, what do you think? What do you think he is? Uh, he he he's he's young right here. Oh, he looks young. He is a 2022. Can he make it three for three with oh, the man. layup? His parents. This message is for you and you only at the moment. Text message for the video. Highlight video, text us, and we will let you know exactly what to do. And he almost came up with a force steal there. And him too. Here he goes. McGinley with the. Wow. Almost the and one. Wow. The championship game. <laughs> I'm already on Wednesday now. The championship game will be back here live. And um, all-star game. And I'm sure I'm going to, you know, see some of these people that we've been naming in the all-star game you know i don't want to say names right now but i'm sure some of the people that we've been naming and ryan russo he's 5'10 and he's only a freshman wow 5'10 i told you hey what i say a couple years from now he's gonna be dunking he's going to be dunking when he is a junior yes. so mr russo some piece of advice for somebody who didn't do it when they <laughs> were in high school hit the weights make sure you're eating properly make sure you're taking care of your body and make sure you're working on that speed and agility, and a lot of positive things are going to happen in your future, young man. Great ball handling skills there. Oh, the goal wow. Team number 10. That was... That was Ryan Rowe. He had passed the ball into number 30. That was Andrew Hunter out of East Juniata. Great drive there by McGinley as he gets the offensive rebound and puts it back up for two. And parents, as I've been mentioning um, in the commentaries the previous two games, uh, this is this is a great camp for your for players to get skills identification, um, to play with some of the top talent in Pennsylvania. And again, this is the only camp in the entire country to do a live stream of a five-on-five -five game. And if you're looking for some tape, um, there is always a way for you to get a hold of it. All you have to do is you just have to email us. You have to text us, and the number will pop up on the screen momentarily as McGinley goes for two again as the score is 11-2. to two. The ball goes out of bounds here. We have a 
believe the ball is staying. Yes, we have baseline out of bounds play here for the Cavs. And let's see what they can come up with. Let's see if they can do any type of curl. We have an iso play here in the post. See if he can use his drop step. Oh, he chooses to go back to the top of the key. We have another steal. Wow. Another steal by Don't Russo. Look at Let's all. just call him the basketball thief because all he's been doing is stealing the ball from everybody else. Wow. He gonna, is going to be something. I'm going to make that a hashtag right now. So if y'all are on Twitter, tweet at me, Mr. Smith, SLC, hashtag the basketball thief. Wow. Great penetrating kick there by McGinley, and three-point shot there by number by number 21. That was Charles Hyde. I get. I mean, again, that is great penetrating kick. Get into the lane. Make sure you use your jump stop. You're reading the defense, and great lob there by number 22 of the Cavs, Nate Gillespie, as he gets the ball to number 21, Toby Berg. As we have Hunter and Gillespie going in battle in the post. And we have a turner here and a fast break for the Cavs. Let's see what they can do. As we have a great layup. Wow. Wow. And we have our first substitution timeout. So a brand new set of what? players is going to come onto the court for both teams. And the score? The score is for the Knicks, 13. And the Cavs are starting to battle back, and they have nine points. So we have 13 to nine. As we restart play here with the Knicks. And we have a good post up play here. And the A1 for the big man himself. That is the Knicks player number 99, Austin Raymer, 6'4, class of 2019, getting ready to be a senior, going into his last year ball from Mifflinburg Area High School. As he unfortunately does not finish the, the unconventional. Three-point play as we have number 18 spotting up for three. And the wow. offensive rebound by number 19, Isaiah. And a I do not want to Another Isaiah? His, another Isaiah. He's out of Canton, PA. Isaiah. Against Isaiah Nim right now. Psych. I apologize if I butchered that last name. Way to push the ball at the floor by number zero for the Cavs. That's Ronan Serrano. As we have a foul here against the Knicks, and the Cavs will be at the line shooting two. As the Cavs player there, number 19, Isaiah, um, goes over two there from the line. We had a great offensive rebound and a great put back there by number 18, Baron Stauffenberg. Or, yeah, Stauffenberg, class 2020 from Tamaqua, PA. As the score is now 15 to 13 in favor of the Knicks. So the Cavs, ladies and gentlemen, they're starting to battle back in this game. We're, we'll see what they can do here in the next possession. As Isaiah goes for the mid-range jumper and a knockdown three. Oh, just in and out. And a great rejection by the Greek freak himself for the Knicks. Isaiah Ennis.
And as the Cavs push the ball up through the floor, they look to pass the ball around the perimeter a little bit. Good jab step, way to get into the lane. And great take there by number 18, Baron Stauffenberg. And this is one thing I started to no notice about uh, Stauffenberg. He isn't afraid to shoot the three, but he also isn't afraid to get into the lane, take the contact, and get a layup. And for those of you joining the, the live um, broadcast tonight, um, this is Coach Smith coming to you from the Keystone State Camps here at Susquehanna University in Sealands Grove, Pennsylvania. This is our first night of camp. We do have three more days remaining. We have a full day Tuesday or Monday and Tuesday, and then we have our final day on Wednesday where we are going to have our semifinals, finals, and championship games of the five on five games. Um, and it's been an absolute honor um, and privilege to commentate these games tonight. There's a lot of great young talent as Isaiah does a great Euro step, pops it out to number one. Unfortunately, it doesn't come up. But like I said, Baron Stauffenberg pushing the limits, getting up and down the floor as he's getting to the free throw line. So we'll see what Stauffenberg can do here from the line. As he misses the first one and gets ready for the second one. And Stauffenberg goes one for two from the line and the score is now the Knicks have 19 and the Cavs have 18, so the Cavs are starting to creep back into this game. As this is great defense here by Stauffenberg, and great take there by number 10 oh my for the gosh. Knicks. That was Ethan Rowe. Oh my gosh. Going strong Yo, to the hoop. He looked at you. He looked at you. He he, he gave me the Jalen Brown to LeBron James oh, stare down. Oh my and God. we have a turnover here with a double or we have, with a travel. Uh, oh but he, my he gave the Jalen Brown to the LeBron James stare down of, I just came into your house. And I just took it to the hoop. Yeah. I was going to say took your dinner, but that can be taken in many different ways. Oh, my man, go up strong. There you go, number 99. That is Austin Raymer out of Mifflinburg Area High School. And we have Isaiah again from downtown, number 19 for the Cavs. Great backdoor cut there by number one for the Knicks. That is Cole Ackerman as we have an isolation here. Austin Raymer. Ball handler right now, Ethan Rose. He passes up, passes the ball up to Isaiah. Isaiah gets the ball back. A little bit of isolation play here in the wing. Great seal from number 99, Austin Raymer. And the ball is going to get pushed here by number 18, Baron Stauffenberg with a turnover going the other way. Eyes up. Great pass. Oh, oh, Isaiah with a nice block. And ladies and gentlemen, this is great up and down basketball yes. as we come to our very first substitution timeout where we are yeah. going to see another group of players from the team. Hey, what's the score, the color of the teams? What's going on here? The score right now is the Knicks 23, Cavs 21. So, Coach. Cavs, Cavs are making is, it, they're making green. it. Yeah, they're green. They're making it interesting. They were down by 15 at one point. Now they're within two, and it's a lot of back and forth. The court is starting to get very wide open. All right, as oh. we can see, Coach Kelly over there, and as we have a, a live look into the Cavs huddle right now to see what Coach Paris is discussing. It's halftime. Oh, it's halftime. Oh, it's halftime. All right, so we're going to go for a break. Yes. Oh, it's not halftime. Oh, it's not halftime. Let's go. Jeez, they took a, a full timeout. So even Coach Paris over there, he's he was a little confused. He, he he actually he wanted to do this commentating, but when him and I were talking, I was like, I mean, I got a loud mouth, so I'll just I'll just talk. Oh, As man. we have from downtown, number two. And look, he's off the bench. I mean, he's he's, he's off, going off the court. And we just have a regular three-point play there from number 22. Nate they, 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 they count it. 
And they counted it, yes. And that right there, Coach, that's going to give the Cavs the lead. They're up by one, 24 to 23, as we had a shot there by number 33, Julius Curry. And we have transitioned Isaiah to number 17. Wow, I like Ethan this Miller. Isaiah kid. I know, I like his court vision, Coach. It's, his eyes are always up. He's unselfish. He's pushing the ball up the floor. He's making his teammates look great. As the Cavs bring the ball up the floor here again, we'll see what Isaiah can do. See if we can create a screen for one of our three-point shooters as he takes it to the rack. And great rebound as McKinley's pushing the ball up the floor. Great ball handling skills. And we're going to see here if Russo is able to do anything. Oh, we had a little bit of, had a little bit of contact. We have a player down. We have a player down. And this is for the Knicks. This is for the Knicks. All right, Knicks, okay, we're gonna be back. Be right back. Be right back here. Attention, attention, all parents that are in this recruiting world, trying to get your athlete the scholarship, hoping that these college coaches are at the events watching your player. Well, hey, we have something new that can take you to the next level. We can send out your own personal and we're back on, and that was for the Knicks. A little bit of a scare, but it was just contact. Nothing big. That was number 30. Um, that was Austin, or sorry, Andrew Hunter that went down with the apparent injury, but, it, but it's his contact. He's going to get checked out, excuse me, by the medical tent. And hopefully he's okay to return as we have a turnover here. And another turnover. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, th these games, these players, this is the first time that they're playing with each other unless you're the Tamaqua area high school players where you've known each other for a very long time. So the players are getting used to each other's tendencies, they're getting used to putting the ball into the post, they're used to getting used to isolation plays, passing and cutting, a little bit of read and react offense, a little bit of dribble drive offense. So it's going to take some time for these players to mesh and once they complete more of these more one of these more of these 5 on 5 games, um, they're going to be more comfortable with each other's habits as McKinley pushes the ball up the floor and another turnover. And score updates, the Cavs have taken the lead by one, 26, 25, as we have a steal there by number 22 for the Cavs. That is Nate Gillespie, let's see what he can do with it. Isaiah going to the rack, going oh, strong, wow. and for the finish with the wow. layup. Wow. Great wow. basketball, wow. ladies and gentlemen. Isaiah, Isaiah parents, please text message that phone number and say, I want the video footage of this performance and Wednesday, because I will see him Wednesday, I'm sure. Here we go. Isaiah again. Great job again there by Ethan Miller. I believe that was, sorry, no, that's Baron Stauffenberg, or Stauffenberg um, with the finish. And the big man shooting the three ball. One thing I like to see him do there, get to the rack, take the contact, get a high percentage shot to get into the free throw line. Great take there by Stauffenberg again as the score is now 32-27 as the Cavs have taken the lead and they've been able to hold on to it. Great cut there by number 13 for the Cavs, or sorry, for the Knicks. That is Ryan Russo out of Central Dolphin. Charles Hyde here on the isolation. Good Euro step. Great block there by Isaiah. And great finish again. And we have one minute remaining until the end of this period. Wow. He threw it right at him. Yeah. And turnover. With great job by the Cavaliers player to get back and penetrate and dish. 
Boom, knocked down. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, that's a great job by number 22 there for the green Nietzsche Lesby. As he gets the steal here, go to the rack, big man. And we have a foul. Two-shot foul. And ladies and gentlemen, there are five seconds remaining, so let's see if the Knicks can indeed push it off of this shot. 